If you've been thinking about buying a new or used car anytime soon, you may want to hit the brakes. Yes, because economic experts say the industry ravaged by microchip shortages was seeing prices start to level off between June and August. Buzz KXN's Sarah Rachman explains now they worry it may spike again, all thanks to hurricanes Ida and Nicholas. We have a saying around here that we're not a museum, so we don't have to collect a lot of cars. That meant about 40 to 60 cars at a time on this lot at Killian Auto Sales in Round Rock. Now it fluctuates between 2 and 15 cars because of high demand and fewer cars coming into his used lot from dealers of new cars. The Chevy store I go to every day. They usually have zero to three cars, and they used to have 800 new cars there. That's because production has dropped. In just the last couple weeks, Toyota, GM, and Ford have all said they're cutting back due to a prolonged chip shortage. That's also driven prices up. Now, supply chain expert Edward Anderson says there's added pressure. Hurricanes Ida and Nicholas. He says it'll be a similar hit as Hurricane Harvey. When that happened, Hurricane Harvey, when it hit Houston, it drove up car prices nationwide by 3%. This time, in the middle of an already tight market, he says that could be a 10 to 20% increase here in Austin. It's just one of those deals where you don't even really know how to plan for it. You just go day by day and do what you can. Bahir Rahman, KXAN News. Killian Auto Sales says they are still seeing product come in every day. It just might not be the car that you might be looking for. So how can you tell if a car you're looking to buy has been involved with any kind of flooding? A spokesperson for AAA says the first thing that you want to do is look for any obvious signs of damage. You're looking at the upholstery, the carpeting, um, you know, you're looking at uh, the various metal components of the vehicle, you know, making sure there's no rust or corrosion. Now, AAA says it's a good idea to do a vehicle report, title check, and a pre-purchase inspection when buying a vehicle. After